He's walking up. He's going to be, uh, I guess, shaking hands with the vice president, who's the president of the Senate, and Nancy Pelosi, the Speaker of the House as well. Uh, let's, let's watch this moment. Oh. It looks like she went to shake his hand, and, and, he, did, and he, did not, he did not take it. Here tonight is a special man, beloved by millions of Americans, who just received a stage four advanced cancer diagnosis. The millions of people a day that you speak to and that you inspire, and all of the incredible work that you have done for charity, I am proud to announce tonight that you will be receiving our country's highest civilian honor, the Presidential Medal of Freedom. I'm also calling upon members of Congress here tonight to pass legislation finally banning the late-term abortion of babies. Charles is one of the last surviving Tuskegee Airmen, the first black fighter pilots, and he also happens to be Ian's great-grandfather. There is one more thing. Tonight, we have a very special surprise. I am thrilled to inform you that your husband is back from deployment. He is here with us tonight, and we couldn't keep him waiting any longer. With unyielding commitment, we are curbing the opioid epidemic. African-American poverty has declined to the lowest rate ever recorded. The unemployment rate for women reached the lowest level in almost 70 years, and last year women filled 72 percent of all new jobs added. Jobs and investments are pouring into 9,000 previously neglected neighborhoods thanks to Opportunity Zones, a plan spearheaded by Senator Tim Scott as part of our great Republican tax cut. Joining us in the gallery is the true and legitimate president of Venezuela, Juan Guaido. Mr. President, please take this message back to your family. We created a brand new branch of the United States Armed Forces. It's called the Space Force. Very important. The best is yet to come. Thank you. God bless you. And God bless America. Thank you very much.